Greetings in the name of the Most High. Yeah, it's King Yeah, I am back with um the final, the final installment of my trade recap. Today was a really good day on TQQQ. Um, as you can see, um, I stopped out here at thirty one forty six. From this, um, when I re-entered, short at thirty two o three. And let's see. As you can see, the rejections here of a VWAP is the reason why, well, when we had this hammer candle right here, or this doji hammer, well, it's a doji candle because the hammer has to be, it has to close somewhere at the top. So I'll call this like a doji candle with high volume. We had the little reversal right here pushed up to um, the volume point of control, which is that um, white dotted line. And then we had like another kind of doji's candle pushing up, but we're we're rejecting like um, the VWAP area, which is this white line right here. We're rejecting that white line, so that's VWAP. And as you can see, we reject it, we rejected twice. We rejected twice from this level, right? So that's thirty two twenty four level. So when we broke down, um, this was kind of. To me, it was a late entry. Looking back at it, it was a late entry. I should have probably just took it on the break of, I don't know, maybe this this level right here, thirty two thirteen, or maybe thirty two, just below um volume, the volume point of control, which is um thirty two seventeen. But I don't know. It was it was all right. I just I'm just looking back at the trade and looking where I could have done better. You know. So maybe a rejection right off a of VWAP is just go short right there again. But I waited for confirmation. Took the short right here. Um, what's this blue line? Let's see if I can make this small and see what's going on with this blue line. So that's R5, right? So I guess it's not too bad of an entry. I wasn't really considering R5. I'm looking at all the selling pressure. So R5 wasn't really... It wasn't really in play in my mind, you know, because we're going to we broke through it already. So it doesn't really matter to me because I'm looking at the volume, the volume indicators like VWAP. Like what's the what's the volume indicators telling me instead of like these level or pivot indicators, you know, because we're already we're already already bucking against the 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 pivots itself. Right. So. Let's see. Um, when we broke down here, we retested VWAP. All of this was it's it's good signals for me. Like all these wick rejections in the selling. Then we had this nice push down candle with high volume, but then we started to kind of wick out at the bottom. So that's when I was looking at it like you know what this is looking like a reversal. This is absorbing, but I'm looking at the tape. The tape is saying that it's still bearish. There's a lot of bids coming in. But then at one point, I started to see a lot of these um, light blue orders. What you're seeing on the tape right now. That's when people are buying at the ask, right? And when you're buying at the ask, like right now in price action, it's either shorts covering or it's people like um, placing market orders to go long. And if you place market orders to go long, the market maker is gonna is gonna fill you on the ask, right? So as you can see now, when you look at price action compared to the tape across here on the left, right? The price action is kind of it's like a battleground right now. It's between bids is coming in now, so you see in the price is moving down. It's a lot of bids coming in. And actually, this could be a short signal for me right now. If we break below VWAP, this could be a short signal. But, you know, this is just a trade recap. I'm not going to, well, maybe I might never know, man. I might go short as big beers, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, so, you see, we hold.